Alright, I caught this halfway through. I don't got the camera angle on it. But uh, we are taking the bones out of our bone broth. It's been cooking for a good 24 hours. Slow cooking for 24 hours, and I had it sitting here, staying warm for a few more hours. So what I'm doing is I'm taking out all the bones, uh, getting all the, the marrow out, and the fat and stuff. I don't need to grab a butter knife. Get this one out. But as you see, you know, it's hot, it's hot bones but just you know clear all the bones and any marrow that's inside any bad content uh, we don't give the bones to the dog uh, from the bone broth because they're brittle they'll shard and potentially cause harm to the dog so we don't give that part to the dog Simply throw it out, it served its purpose. Uh, yeah, right now we got a rich hearty ball. Woo! Don't want to splash it on me. But in this bone broth, I added, you know, femur, you know, shoulder, all kind of, you know, different bones uh, from the cow. And then to top it off, uh, not good at pronouncing the word. I think it's called su sweet, sweet or something like that. It's S-U-E-T. Uh, I use that in there too. Give it more of the fattiness and everything. Uh, you know, because when you make bone broth, you can make it you know, real watery, or it can be gelatinous after you cool it, you know, which I like the more gelatinous. I feel like my dogs are benefiting more from it when it's like that. But, yeah, that's just my take on it. I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like once I'm done. It's not completely done yet. After these bones are out, I'm gonna let it, uh, this could be hot. Ooh, that was hot. Yes, that's hot. Like in there, it'd be. Yes, give me one second, so uh, let me finish this, and then I got you. As you see, inside the the juices and fat and all that stuff, you want all that stuff out. You know, I don't even know where the bone this is, but, you know, whatever it is, it's got some stuff in it. We're going to get it out. There we go. Getting all that out, but uh, yeah. Besides bones, I use uh, lots of vegetables, carrots, celery, uh, some bay leaf, you know, a little bit of, of that stuff. Uh, I predominantly give this to the dogs, you know, a couple times a week. I give it to the puppies. A lot of times I like to soak their kibble in it, you know, when I give it to the big dogs, I do the same thing, I soak the kibble in it, uh, it just adds kind of like a, you know, hydrating their food. But let me go ahead and switch the camera around and get you guys a good look at the contents. Uh, me, I feel like I can bust down that fat a little bit more. Oh shit. So 
Sorry for my language. If I can, I don't think I can turn this around, but you know, let's get a good look at here. This is how it's looking right now. See all that, all that fat and stuff? I feel I can get that broken down a little bit more. And uh, there's a little bit of meat content in there. I'm going to let that uh, bust down a little bit more. But uh, on top of what I do add, uh, that's why I do add a little bit of fermented turmeric. A little bit of pumpkin pro. You know, just uh, you know, help out with the digestive and the inside of the dogs and everything. But, uh, yeah, so that's my video on my bone broth. I'll get back to you guys another day. Yeah. All right. Yeah. As you can see, I'm cool. Mostly everything is rendered down. Not so many big pieces in there. You know, in my opinion, this is a done product. See everything. You know, it's done. But you'll watch us strain it out. And uh, yeah, go from there. And the bone broth, the mix. Gotta mix up a little something for the puppies real quick. So. Take a couple scoops. Oh, look at that. See? Bounce the ball. Then always go through the ball. Look at that. 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 Mm. 
to go hydrate the puppy's food with this. And the big dog food. So I just take a little. about two cups there that we use. We have a little bit more of this fat. It's not like it's you know, bad fat or anything. It's gonna be healthy for the pups. Well, okay. 